Hey, listen, shin splints don't have to exist. Balancing your calves and your tibialis is really key. And starting from your ankles all the way up is what's going to prevent you from having shin splints. You know, I see a lot of athletes, a lot of basketball players overdo and kind of have a, that's kind of an overuse injury. But if you strengthen and keep your, your ankles uh, flexible, your tibialis nice and flexible and strong, then shin splints really don't happen to exist. So if you don't have a calf machine, what you can do is kind of just kick your knees over your toes here. Still, like Ben said, keep that mobility in your soleus and just drive up, press those heels down, come all the way up, press those heels down, drive up. And this is when Ben's like zero program, I believe, right B? That's right, yeah. 25 reps. When that's easy, single leg. Okay, I don't have yeah. to worry about shin splints, knee pain, because of math equations for my sport, basketball, meaning I just have enough ability in these positions so then my sport doesn't hurt. Yeah. Tibialis on one side is part of it, but so is that lower, deeper calf muscle that Derek's showing you. Just don't let your friends start videos when you're at the end of your set on seating tech, because <laughs> you look like you're at the end of your set, like right when your crush walks in the gym huh? and you're, you're, struggling. you're hitting failure. But yeah. the point is these lower muscles here that attach, the tibialis comes around, those are right there. People have shin pain in here. Yeah. Go slow, rebuild Mother Nature's design. You won't have shin splints. Yeah. But almost everyone watching this with shin splints has deviated so greatly from Mother Nature's design, yeah. built up so much else, and remained really weak in that lower, deeper calf muscle and that tibialis Yeah, and muscle. like you said, take your time, man. I see a lot of kids doing jump rolls, running upstairs, sprinting on, in concrete. Like, if you're doing all that, which is great, make sure you take some time and do the simple things to make sure you can extend your career and be healthy throughout the whole season. I know a lot of people have this, this mindset of work, 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 which is fine, but make sure that you're really taking time to really um, do, do these small things. As bulletproof. Going, yeah, bulletproof yourself, you know? And, and starting young is fine. Like you, you got kids doing push-ups when they're five, six years old. They should yeah. be able to do tibia. You already raises. train your body weight. You should have extreme body weight strength in those lower leg muscles. Yeah. That's the secret to athleticism. Look yeah. at the young Michael Jordan, that elastic quality. LeBron James' legs naturally have all these muscles. Yeah. If you're even watching this video, you probably don't have this naturally. You're probably a grinder trying to figure out how to make it. Yeah. You're copying the fast motions, but you don't have the muscle structure underneath that those athletes have. Yeah, so. that's key, man. And, and, and that's so key, man, too, for a lot of these Michael Jordans, LeBron James, the Allen Iverson, they had things natural because they had that, yep. that strength inside out. So Don't so, copy yeah. their workout, copy what they had, copy what God gave them. Mm -hmm. And you work on that. God gave you knowledge to be even watching this video. Yeah, that's facts, bro.